Hello students, welcome back. This question is from GATE 2003 exam. They are asking, what operations can be performed on this ALU by changing the control signals K and C0? Okay, these are the four options. Let us analyze this circuit. See, these are two full ladders. That means we can perform addition of A and B. Okay, so you can see all of the options contain A plus B. That means A plus B is always there in our answer. But still, let us see what will be the values of K and C0 for performing this addition. You can see this is a XOR gate. XOR gate is a conditional inverter. That means it will invert this input B only when we want it to be inverted. Okay. But in this case, we just want A and B as it is. And they will be given to these full letters for addition. Okay. So we don't want B to be inverted. Let us see how will that happen. You can keep the value of K is equal to 0. Whenever one input XOR of XOR gate is 0, the other input will be allowed to pass as it is. That means, say if B, B1 is 1, 0 XOR 1 will be 1. That means we can say B was allowed to pass. If B1 is 0, 0 XOR 0 will be 0. We can again say B1 was allowed to pass. Okay. So by fixing K is equal to 0, we'll just allow B to pass as it is. And A is anyways given without any change to the full letter. So full letter is going to add both of the numbers. And we don't want any carry in. So K is equal to 0, C is equal to 0 k is equal to 0 and c0 is equal to 0. In this case, we will perform a plus b. Okay. Now, let us see how will we perform this subtraction. For this, we need to know about signed numbers. Okay. See, these are four letters. They can only add to numbers. They cannot subtract numbers. But if we try to perform this calculation, that means we add A and minus B. Negative can be represented using 2's complement form. Okay. That means we want 2's complement of B. Okay. This A will be left as it is. Now, 2's complement is 1's complement of a number plus 1. Okay. So I'm writing it. 1's complement of B plus 1. Okay. So this is what we want. 1's complement of B can be obtained by making K is equal to 1. See, conditional inverter will invert this input B whenever K is equal to 1. Okay. If one of the inputs of XOR gate is high, the other input will be inverted. You can see. When one of the inputs is high, the output will be complement of other input. If other input is 0, answer is 1. If other input is 1, answer will be 0. Okay. Now, we have got one's complement of B, that is this. A is always present, okay, it is connected directly. We just want to add one to both of these numbers. That can be done by making C0 is equal to one, okay. That means on K is equal to one and C0 is equal to one, we will perform A minus B. K is equal to one, C0 is equal to one. The operation is A minus B. Okay. Next, we need incrementation of A. Let us see how can we increment this number A. Have a look. A is given as it is. If we make C0 is equal to 1, okay. In that case, A and C0 will be added, okay. So, it seems that we can perform incrementation of A. But if you just have a look at these XOR gates. 
we cannot do anything to neglect this input that means you are thinking that a plus 1 can be performed but what happens to b this input b will either b will either be given in one's complement form or will be given as it is okay that means we are trying to add b also into this number there is no way that both of these inputs become zero okay the thing is you might think that we can input this b as zero zero but we only want to perform these operations by changing the values of control signals okay we cannot explicitly make b0 we want such a control signal that this input is completely neglected okay and you can see no such control signal exists so only two operations that we can perform are a plus b and a minus b a plus b and a minus b but not a minus 1 so your answer is option a okay